ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Just Plain Living. It's Thanksgiving week. It came quickly, did it not? It came quickly. I woke up uh, and it was almost Thanksgiving. I don't know how it gets here so fast. On the wings of a rainstorm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Which we needed. You know, we hadn't had any rain in probably a month. I looked out in my yard this morning to the acreage of leaves just uh, everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. I believe this will get most of them. Oh, the yeah, probably will. will. Get most of them. You know, you can you can spray them off one minute. I mean, blow them off one minute. The next minute, they're back. But they're pretty. I li I'll miss them. I don't have it with me today. I'll find it. It's in my file cabinet back there. But there is a story about Ole, Ole and Trufa that was written over in Ukraine or one of those oh, countries yeah. over there years, hundreds of years ago about two leaves oh, that two were leaves. in love with each other that were, ma were mated. And they ended up, they were the last two on the tree. And it is one of the most beautiful stories you'll Sweet, ever read yeah. about their love. And uh, Ole and Trufa. Oh, yeah. You, you've got the best memory. Sometimes I can't even remember yesterday. Well, I remember the good <laughs> stuff. I try to remember the good stuff. You know, Jerry House, who was a acclaimed radio personality in Nashville and one of the top radio DJs year after year nationwide, said, uh, you know, people will walk up to me and say, hey, I bet you don't remember who I am. And he'll say, yeah, Hitler, who are, I, I remember you. And then he said, I go telling them, call him buddy yeah. from then on or fella. And he said, I'm afraid at my age, if I, if I remember somebody like that, it might drive somebody out of my mind that I really do like, that I need to remember. <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. And so, and I'm sort of that way. I, 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 I pick and choose what yeah, I a tremendous amount use of my memory storage, bank for. Just so much storage space yeah, in yeah, my brain. Yeah, that's but, for sure. Uh, my husband had the most tremendous memory of anybody I ever knew. He could sit down and write his resume from the day he left school to go into the military. Yeah. He could write every address, every phone number, the time of day he got there and checked in. And somebody can ask me, where all did you live? Well, I can barely come up with that. <laughs> when I was on. there, that's another story. Beach Grove. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, you remember the good, you know, the good times. Uh, uh, yeah, you do remember the good times, and you should remember the good times. The, but the thing about it is, is the, and I, I have this in a song, uh, take your time, uh, time is on your side. The good times, the, the bad times seem forever, and the good times seem to fly. Yes. You know, the, bad, the good times, uh, they happen, and they're gone, and they're wonderful, but the bad times might not last as long, but seem like they last forever. I think an important thing that might help people balance that is you need to learn to live in the moment yeah. and not live in yesterday or what you can't happen fix tomorrow. either one of you them. can't fix either one so try to live in the moment and enjoy it you know and sometimes sometimes somebody will be upset about something and I'll say and and to me it would be something that happened today and it, it and I'll say this is Tuesday, and it's the, I don't even know what the date is, what, 21st? 21st, Tuesday the 21st <laughs> of November. What were you upset about April the 21st you this won't remember. year? I wouldn't well, remember. I don't know. And I don't know. And I said, and you won't remember this either, so why are you so Britain torn over up it. over yeah. it? It's not world change. It's not life changing. Exactly, it's not. But we have to. We have to have stuff to hold on to. Okay. You know, I was I was listening to the preacher uh, yesterday and or, or Sunday, and I was thinking about stuff and how people. You know, there's a lot of people with a lot of education, and a lot of people that are very wise people and very smart people, that that give us. Uh, nuggets that that we're supposed to take and go okay this is how it is right you know well you know they learned that from somebody and somebody decided that's how it is yeah you know, i i think that's interesting to think about because 
we don't stand alone with whatever we know. A lot of people have been there to Okay, so here, here it into and you, our you'll remember the start of this by a children's rhyme. Okay. Okay. Part of this is because I'm reading, I'm a reading buddy at uh, East Lincoln School, so I'm, I'm, I got children's stuff going on in my mind. Well, I'm a child anyway. One, preacher two, preachers three, preachers four, five, teachers six, teachers seven, teachers more. Seems there are preachers and teachers galore. What in the world do we need them all for? To give us a clue who we need to ignore? They are selling the beliefs they were forced into. So boil it all down and decide what's right for you. When Gabriel's horn blows and the final bell's rung, it won't matter how many races you've won because your journey will be judged on the good deeds done. That's beautiful. And that's true. You I, know, so I hope that's true. Glean, listen. Listen and learn. But, but we all have to, to, to filter through what we hear and decide what's right for us. That's true. You know, don't don't be uh, don't don't stop learning when someone tells you something and think, well, that's it. I'm not going to question it. We need to question everything. Yeah. Maybe. Until we find something that fits the way we feel. Yeah. You know, so. Now that's something to think about. How I, was I the? I need to learn to think more. Uh, how, how how was the showcase? It was fabulous. That would be the Young Musician Showcase. And there, I, I am just overwhelmed at the amount of fantastic talent we have in Tullahoma. And oh, yeah. Some are put out by the schools, some by teachers, and uh, all these students were absolutely wonderful. We had a fabulous crowd, and I would like to thank the people that came because they need an audience. They deserve an audience. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say something to you right now you that I, that I think will make it. you happy. Oh, okay. Because it 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 you you talk about this and I talk about this. Rob Galbraith is a uh, way up in the produ production producer. He's Ronnie Millsap's partner. Yeah. And 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 has produced his shows for years. And he was on Facebook the other day, and he was in a small room listening to jazz. Great. And he said, this is one of the most amazing things I've heard and I don't know when. Why is there no one here listening? That's true. We have to train our audiences and sometimes I'm not sure that we do. We have a lot of people that want to be on stage. Yeah. And, and most people that are into the theater want to be on stage. But you've also got to learn to be an audience of different genres of whatever. I just think it's important. You know, and that, and that was so, well, one of the things that was so beautiful about my interview with Steve Brewster is Steve did not want to be, does not want to be, did not and has not been pigeonholed into one box. Right. He, and he thanked his teachers, speaking of teachers. I love that. Uh, I really that opened that. the door for him because he was basically he he loved jazz, right? And but he needed to learn uh, classical, and and he has a love for all music, and he is he has not pigeonholed himself as because he's around Nashville as a country musician. I think his love for jazz came from his association mainly with Brian Guest as Brian far Guest. as that genre of music. Brian but then you've got the Charlie epitome. Hickerson playing bass. Well, that there was, was several yeah, of those little boys in the same that got together, you know. Yeah. And 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 they understood. They learned they, uh, to understand jazz. People don't get it. Some. Yeah. Some people don't get it. I love jazz and I always have. But uh, you have to learn. To What's your cat's to name? <laughs> jazz man. <laughs> <laughs> ja not Jasmine. Jazz, jazz man. Jazz man. <laughs> He's, he's Do you just call him Jazz? Sometimes. Sometimes. Get Sometimes. over here, Jazz. Yeah. He don't, they don't, the cats don't pay attention. He knows who he is, though. You call yeah. him and he comes. Yeah, running, that's good. Running fast. That means that, that he thinks there's food somewhere. 
Uh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> we had two young, <clears throat> young people on the Young Artist Showcase that have been uh, good enough to perform all four years during their high yes. school, and that was Alexa Thompson and Elizabeth Garner, who was here last right. week on the violin. It's incredible. Well, if you had heard, uh, I know you were at a funeral, but if you had heard Alexa, you would have been blown away by her. She is so professional, and I, I am really proud of all the students. I mean, we had a piano player, we had saxophones, we had uh, Jim's grandchild, which one that played flute. She was fabulous. Anyway, they were all so good that I would pay big money to go hear those students play. Oh, Isabella, English? Isabella, yeah, I was trying to think of her name. Oh, those kids are so talented, they can just walk into anything they want to do and be successful. But there was just a potload of talent on that stage, and pick, finding those talents are important. I and what, I what amazes me and makes me really, really happy is you've got a, a young man, Isaac Lee, who signed to swim with Auburn, one of the best young swimmers in the United States I'm of so America, and he's up there singing. He was up there singing, and Isaac is so dedicated to his swimming, but he can still play beautiful piano and sing sing songs. He yeah. has confidence about a lot of things, but we're all really proud of a young man that will do his music and also do yeah. his Renaissance man. He's a Renaissance man. Athlete <laughs> yeah. and, and, and artist as well. I'm, I'm really proud <clears throat> of all of them. A couple of more thoughts here before we get on through some of this. Uh, cooking. I've got a piece I'll read later on about uh, my mama taught me how to cook, which, you know, Thanksgiving is about family, friends, th being thankful of, of all the things. And we all, no matter where we are and what we're doing, what situation we're in, there are people who are in worse shape than you are. You can always find that. And, and be I, thankful for I've what tried. you have. Be thankful, you know, I always say we will, you, we will never have all we want, but we will most of the time always have what we need. I think so. To survive. We, we live in a country that we can go out and plant a garden and eat like we should eat, vegetables. But when you're cooking, <laughs> and cooking thing. right here, this, this goes a little bit further than being in the kitchen. Okay. This goes into cooking stuff up as Let's well. Let's hear it. I realize cooking something is an adventure where you take chances that may have long-term effects. Some dishes are exceptional and quickly consumed to the pleasure of all with no ill effects. Then there are those experiments that are thrown together with no thought of the aftermath. Heartburn, diarrhea, <laughs> uncontrollable, intolerant flatulence, or at least a stinking storage facility. So, be prepared to follow the ripples of your actions and resolve the problems created by the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you got a bad deal going on, there's gonna be leftovers because you didn't right. pay enough attention. And it's just like when you're cooking, if you're not stirring and watching your pot or your pan, you if you burn. walk away and go do something else, it ain't gonna be, it, it's gonna, something's going wrong gonna happen. Something's wrong. It'd be too thick, too thin, whatever, or just plain burnt. And that makes me think of, hey, good looking, what you got cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Willie nice and Thanksgiving, that? yeah, uh, Thanksgiving, family, friends, turkeys. Turkey. All right, well, we're going to do it right after this. Okay. Life is arranged around relationships. Without them, one would be lost. Every thought we have involves a relationship with something. Friends, a love, family, enemies, acquaintances, a car, a pet, a tree, the world, your faith. 
How lonely would it be without them? Lonely enough not to exist. Good or bad, thank God for our relationships. Oh, yeah. We need to stop and think about that every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to take a quick commercial break or not. If we don't take a commercial break, we're going to go to WKRP in Cincinnati, one of my favorite shows years ago, and watch the turkey drop. All right, fellow babies, and now it's time to go to our live remote man on the scene at the Pinedale Shopping Mall for the big WKRP turkey giveaway. So take it away, Les Nessman. This is Les Nessman, your man on the scene here at the Pinedale Shopping Center where the excitement is mounting. We're here to witness the big WKRP hey, hey, turkey Thanksgiving giveaway. Hey, you got permission to be out here? What? You're blocking my store here, buddy. Don't you know who I am, huh? I'm Les Nesman. I won the Buckeye News Hawk Award last year. <laughs> Good for you, Buckeye. Now get out of my doorway. I'm sorry. Creep. <laughs> so far, so good, huh? I'm here with hundreds of people who have gathered to witness what has been described as perhaps the greatest turkey event in Thanksgiving Day history. All we know for sure is that in a very few moments, there are going to be a lot of happy people out here. Now, the crowd is... The, the crowd is... Uh, <laughs> Curious, but well behaved. <laughs> and I think I hear something now. Uh, the crowd is moving out into the parking area. And oh yes, I can see it now. It's a it, it's a helicopter. And it's coming this way. A helicopter. It's flying something behind it. I can't quite make it out. It's a large banner, and it says, uh, happy thing. W-K-R-P. What a sight, ladies and gentlemen, what a sight. The copter seems to be circling the parking area now. I guess it's looking for a place to land. No, something just came out of the back of the helicopter. It's uh, a dark object. Uh, perhaps a skydiver plummeting to the earth from only 2,000 feet into the air. <laughs> No parachutes yet. Those can't be skydivers. I can't tell just yet what they are, but... Oh, my God, they're talking! Oh, Johnny, can you get this? Oh, they're crashing to the earth right in front of my eyes! Oh, they're going through the windshield of a parked car! Oh, this is terrible. The cars running around, pushing each other? Oh, my goodness! Oh, the humanity! Turkeys are hitting the ground like sacks of wet cement. I don't know how much longer the, the crowd is running for their lives. I think I'm going to step inside. I can't stay out here and watch this any longer. No, I can't go in there. Children are searching for their mothers and, oh, not since the Hindenburg tragedy has there been anything like this. I don't know how much longer I can hold my position here, Johnny. The crowd... Les, 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 are you there? Les isn't there. <clears throat> Thanks for that on-the-spot report, Les. Uh, for those of you who just tuned in, the Pinedale Shopping Mall has just been bombed with live turkey. Film at 11. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Thank you. For many senior citizens, life looks like this, but it doesn't have to. 
When you make your home at Parkview Senior Living, life after retirement takes on a whole new meaning. Daily exercise options, fun outings, happy hour, game nights, movies and popcorn, arts and crafts, enjoying friends over chef-prepared meals. Parkview Senior Living, where you're always home, but you're never home alone. He's a little bit of you, he's a little bit of me. He's the trash along the roads out of Tennessee. He's the garbage that we pack. He's the dream we left behind. Lord, there ain't no lower class than Tennessee trash. Met the enemy, and he is us. Is this the year you want to get fit? If so, check out just some of the things Tullahoma Parks and Rec has to offer kickboxing, aerobics, silver sneakers workouts, swim lessons, boot camp, water aerobics, basketball, Zumba, yoga, pickleball, lap swimming, treadmill, karate. Get fit, Tullahoma, and have some fun with Tullahoma Parks and Rec. I was skeptical about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. There are a lot of opinions being shared. But I had the chance to talk with my doctor about my concerns. He told me the vaccines are backed by decades of research and that the vaccines are proven safe and effective. Now I'm protected and ready to put this pandemic behind us. Join the millions of Tennesseans who have decided to give COVID-19 vaccines a shot. Visit covid19.tn.gov to find an appointment today. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. About this and that. It's conversations with John and Pat. With John and Pat. With John and Pat. Hello, everyone. I'm John Rickman. And this is Pat Welch, and we are here today for segment 98 of the Conversations with John and Pat. Got a song here, uh, one that was sung many, many years ago. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home, a band of angels coming after me, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. That's a sweet old song. Now, in the last three or four segments, we've had you going back to the, the, the good old songs. Well, after so many segments, you know, you think, well, we've done that one. Going we've back done to the standbys at, at yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's been great. Pat, nobody realizes this, but I've always been interested in history, and I saved this newspaper from Thursday morning, September 3rd, 1964, and now, on the I've been in your house many times. Yeah. And it's neat. It uh, you've got all kinds of historical stuff, but it doesn't look like a hoarder lives there. You, I, you've done well with it. I this. try to keep things orderly so my wife won't get mad at me for being too. <laughs> Is that all, did that come from cluttered. your study? Was it in your study? Yeah, this you if you know up there at the top on my shelf in my study. I've got things in uh, plastic bags up there, uh -huh. which is old newspapers. I've got them all. Not old lunches, newspapers. Newspapers. Right. Here I am. Let's see. There it is. Uh, that's 19, what did I say, 64? Yeah, that Medicare you think was there forever. It's, it's just got kind of announced on that newspaper. Show them this picture a little closer right here, Philip. Uh, there he is. That's... Uh, Philip took a shot. Uh, you know who that is, don't you, Pat? Sergeant York. Sergeant York. Hey, uh, my brother and I, when we were young, we had uh, uh, a record that had Archie Campbell done. The year was 1917. The bloody war was on. The call came out from Washington. We want your native son. The call to arms, the battle cry, the fight for victory was idle chatter to the folks in Pall Mall, Tennessee. The call came out to Alvin York, a mighty mountain man. He said, I will not go to war, he says. It is against God's plan. Although I fear no man on earth, I will obey God's will, because the Bible says, Thou shalt not kill. And That's an awesome we, gun. You, well, from memory. Well, fair. And last week we couldn't, we couldn't remember David Hess's name. Well, you go back several years and maybe well, it, that's well anyways <laughs> that's part of the prognosis <laughs> <laughs> but anyway uh alvin york was born up near jamestown tennessee at a place called Pall Mall. a few years ago my wife and i uh decided to take off up into there and visit the uh, home of alvin york and we met his son that day and maybe some other relative there in, at the place. But uh, uh, Tennessee was very proud of him because of his heroics in World War I. In World War I, uh, there was an offensive going on and Alvin York with a, uh, several other men were uh, trying to take a machine gun nest. And, uh, uh, and uh, Alvin York, uh, about, they had, well, he had, he had captured a German that had shot at him but missed him every time. And they captured him. The guy gave up and captured him. And then they were walking a little forward and using him as a sort of a shield, I guess you might say. They're going to take him in. And, but anyway, a machine gun uh, wiped out six of his men. They all hit the ground. And Alvin York uh, went toward that machine gun nest. and. And uh, I won't go into all the details of what he did, but he killed 25 men, and he took in 119 uh, uh, captured, captured 119 Germans. Well, they thought it was a, almost a division or something. He, he yeah. killed so many that uh, they convinced, and they surrendered because they thought there was a tremendous amount of Yeah, somehow, somehow they asked there. him how many uh, did he have, and he said, well, I got a plenty. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the tale goes uh, that uh, he would shoot these Germans, he saw them in a line, and from hunting back in the mountains, he know that if you pick off a, a group of turkeys that's walking in a line, you get the one in the back, they can't hear good, hit the one in the back, next one, the next one, the next one, then the, the front ones don't know what's happening, so he picked off six like that. And when, that, when, the, when the Germans did realize what was happening, they threw their arms up and thought it was a whole lot more people than one man. And uh, he walked, uh, he and his, uh, the ones that were left out of his uh, group walked uh, these men back to uh, where they could capture them uh, officially. And, uh, and he was, from that time forward, a hero. Now, not much was made of it back at, at that particular time, but a year or two later, uh, he, 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 his acclaim grew even more. He won the Medal of Honor, of, and, uh, and he was recognized 
and honored by three other countries, France being one of those countries, I can't remember the other. But he came back to Tennessee he, uh, after the war was fought, and he wanted to settle in where he was raised up. Well, uh, and, and he wanted to um, let the educational level of, of mm -hmm. the, his, his, not just his family, but everybody in that area there to, to come up. And they, they, they were the state, poor mountain people. Uh, states uh, uh, set up York Institute. That's the right. High school there. And, uh, Several businessmen in Nashville got together and and uh, helped that get, uh, you know, use that. Well, those businessmen helped him buy a farm that was closer to the Wolf River, and that's where he was to re uh, live out his uh, rest of his days. Well, he got in some financial difficulties. You know, the later on the the uh, depression came about, and and he didn't he had got into some fi tax difficulties and this sort of thing. But uh, and all along he uh, he was uh, he, he was a great man, although he did have difficulty afterwards. And he John, remained very humble. The, somebody counseled him when he felt like he had to be a pacifist and could not serve. But there was some some verse that somebody gave him that that the, kind of uh, eased his conscience. Render and, unto Caesar what is Caesar's, un, and unto okay. God what is God's. And once he, that uh, once he soaked that in, then he went on to fight uh, as he did, and he served the country well. Go to the next picture. His faith remained strong his whole life. He yes. was really involved yes. in church when he There's got back home. There's he and his wife back home after the war. You know, he was a slim, tall, scrapping fellow. They say uh, when he was uh, this pastor that was played in the movie by Gregory Peck. I have that right, don't I? Uh, and uh, is that right, Philip? Cooper, Gary, Gary Cooper. Cooper. Now, Gary Cooper um, played Alvin York, but you're talking about the preacher now, I think. Well, the preacher was played by Walter Brennan. Okay. And and there, I want to tell you a little story here in Tullahoma. We have a, a guy named Clint Clarno who is here in town, and he paints. Uh, he's a very good painter. He's a painter. He paints uh, scenes on windows and so forth. But Clint's been around a long time, and Clint, uh, uh, his great granddaddy was Walter Brennan. So, and wow. their their child, and you've had him on, uh, they, he's been on this program before. Uh, his name is uh, Brennan Clarno. And he's named for Walter Brennan, uh, uh, the, the the actor. And he played the preacher in that movie. Played the, that played the preacher yeah. in the movie. And show uh, that next picture of Gary Cooper and Alvin York sitting together talking about the movie. I believe that movie was done in 1941. That was one movie I remember so well that Tommy Allen over there at East yearly showed that to his students. And I'm thinking how how good that was, mm -hmm. you know, to do that. And and if you uh, folks Memorial Day or any other time uh, you want to do something that remembers soldiers, go to up to toward Jamestown and. And uh, visit, John. I hate that you spent all that money to get up there because this. I believe somebody with the state got a big exhibit there and, and traveled with it, and it was out South Jackson for at least a month. And it well, was really, really Pat, interesting. Had a so does the wall. I mean, here you're well, chastising me for not going, <laughs> for not waiting. I mean, the wall well, comes I was, around I was, too. I was appealing to your sense of, of uh, <laughs> frugalness. Um, and so I thought you might squirm some, but it didn't. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but it had a a, uh, a miniature display of that of that area of ground yeah. in the in the World War One where he captured all those, and and it really really was interesting. Well, he was a man that was uh, meant for that particular day and time, and he. And he came home and lived a fairly decent life. I think is uh, I think he died at 74, 76. Died at died at age 76. He had a lot of health problems the last 10 years of life, but uh, we are here today to remember Alvin Sergeant York. That was a great segment, John, and that was segment 98. 
We have two more to go before we take a little bit of a break. If you want to hear us a marathon, one through 100, get in touch with management. We will hope that we can continue on. Thank you all. <laughs> Talking history about this and that. It's conversations with John and Pat. With John and Pat. With John and Pat. Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. Tullahoma Fire Department, Tullahoma Fire Department, need you en route to a structure fire, 202 Main Street, heavy smoke showing, neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. Stop on! I've got one! I've got one! Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. You're not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and I can't be any more excited. You know, things happen over here at our studio downtown Tullahoma. You just never know who's going to drop by. It's Thanksgiving week, and my friend and our mayor, Mayor Ray Noas, has stopped by on Thanksgiving week to give, a, to give our uh, citizens of Tullahoma uh, a little happy Thanksgiving and let folks know that everything's everything going to be all right. Well, thank you, John. Thank you for yeah, having yeah, me this morning. Yeah, we're glad to thank have you very you much. Here, always. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to come by and <clears throat> wish you and yours a uh, happy Thanksgiving. This is the time for us to stop and take stock of why are we here? How did we get here? Well, we're here because we have so many to be people to be thankful for. Of course, as Americans, we are all thankful for the country we live in. Right. And all the freedoms that we enjoy. Well, most of us have a comfortable home. Right. Adequate amounts of food. Yes, sir. But we have so many non-material things to be thankful for. But I'm kind of focusing on this year, and that is to be thankful for those individuals who have mentored and guided me and us through our lives to get us to where we are today. Right. For them, we can truly be thankful. But don't just stop being thankful for them. Tell them, if you have an opportunity to thank someone for helping you along your way, take time to stop and say thank you. Be thankful for what they've done for you. But this is a season also to 
go shopping <laughs> in Tullahoma. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> We do shop Tullahoma first. We do we do shop in Tullahoma, uh, and one and one point I would want to make there is I am thankful for so many small businesses in Tullahoma. Right. So many small businesses that are the lifeblood of our community, lifeblood of this country for that matter. Oh, for particularly sure. Particularly in our in our city. So thank thank those small businesses for keeping their doors open through some tough times, getting them over some humps, but uh, go out and tell them that you're thankful for them. But uh, everyone in Tullahoma is, has been striving to make Tullahoma a better place to be. For them, I am thankful, again, thankful on Thanksgiving, thankful to those citizens who have worked diligently to strive to make Tullahoma be a better place to be. So to, for all the citizens of Tullahoma, thank you for your efforts in that regard. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm one of the reading buddies with the school system, and I go to East Lincoln School every Monday morning and read to second graders. And the teachers say thank they thank me, and I'm going no, thank you. You know how there, I can't think of any better way to start your week than looking into the the, the beautiful eyes and faces of 15 second graders because they see things and they're learning things that just life is to them is just a fantasy a beautiful fantasy and uh they're just so sweet and we need again like you say to thank the people our volunteers in our town you know i look at and and i don't know what people get paid for doing what and don't care uh but Usually, if you sign up to do something as a volunteer, like if you want to be on the, the uh, uh, airport authority or the housing authority or, or this or that or the other, or be an alderman, I guarantee you that the stipend that you get is nowhere near what it would take to pay for the research and the time you have to spend to do your job appropriately. And so for you and the aldermen we have and all the people that are on these boards, thank you for helping us grow and stabilize and keep Tullahoma the town that we love because we are going to go into the future and there's going to be growth and there's going to be stuff happening that we really have no control over. And the best thing we can do for all concerned is be ready. Plan for it. Yes. Plan for it. Yes, that's a, it's going to happen. Yes. So I'd rather plan for it than just to watch it happen. Yeah. So for volunteers, let me say this about volunteers. I've volunteered a fair amount in my career, but when I no. volunteer for something, <laughs> it's like a job. It's a commitment. Sure, sure it is. It's a commitment of time. It's a commitment of I'm devoting my energies to that that I'm volunteering for. And it's an opportunity to serve. Yes. And I'm thankful for those opportunities. Again, being thankful during this holiday, Thanksgiving holiday season, is something we just need to pause, take time to be restful, peaceful, and happy. Yes. It's a it's a mode of to get into, to enjoy the season. It, in, it makes you feel better when you get in that mode, let me assure you. You know, I was talking with a, with a young man yesterday, and I, I, he visits with me from time to time. He's a very, very wise young man, I think. And he was talking about his brother and sister and how they would fight and be competitive to the point that it, they made each other miserable and made him miserable. And he said, you know, why can't they just be happy for each other? You know, if one of them gets a... Uh, a bigger biscuit instead of complaining about having, <laughs> you know, you still got a biscuit. There's other people who don't have biscuit at all. But, uh, you know, be thankful for things that those have, other people have, uh, that they've gotten in the right way. Not if they've stolen from somebody or something, but, but if they've gotten in the right way, don't be, don't be jealous. You know, we all have most all have 
the things we need. We might not have the things we want, but we live in a country where most people have what they need to survive. As I've indicated, most of us have relatively comfortable homes. Right. And again, adequate amounts of food. <laughs> yeah, sure. We have may, on Thanksgiving time, Thanksgiving Day, we may have more than adequate amounts of, of food, but sharing those resources that we have makes us better people. And take a moment to look on either side of you and realize you might not know your neighbors on either side of you. Spend time. Uh, you want to make a beautiful city. Take care. Don't don't argue about who gets what. And who gets. Take care of your neighbors, your friends. Go find your your friends and 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 do something with them. Be, like you say, be happy. It's a day. Thanksgiving is a day to be happy and joyful. And thankful. And thankful. <laughs> Absolutely. And thankful. Certainly is. Yeah. And and yeah, you know, we're thankful for you. I'm thankful for our friendship, you and your beautiful wife, and how you represent our city and how you how you it's amazing you watch who's who's elected and who does this and who does that. Because we do what we do here. Yeah, you know, we, we we're pretty out there in the community and it's amazing who shows up and who doesn't. You always show up. It's part and of the job. Part of the job. Show up. But it's part of you as well. You know that. You you couldn't do it any other way if someone tried to force you to. <laughs> so <laughs> things things are rolling forward into the holiday season. Uh, you were talking about our small businesses, and I say I talk about this when the chamber's on here. You know, we as business people used to be very protective of our customers. And we didn't want them to go two or three doors down to another place. You know, we wanted them to shop with us. We all need to, and citizens, all the citizens need to know, go in all these little shops around town. Find out what they have. You know, because we have a lot of tourism here. And you might be standing in line with somebody and they might say, you know, I'd like to find a so-and-so. Well, if you don't have it in your store, you need to know three doors down the street or over here on this street over here, they've got that over there. And we need to help. It, it, all of us need to work together for the commerce of Tullahoma to be functional. John, there's an old adage about rising tides. They raise all ships. Yes, they do. I like that. Folks, that's what we're going to leave you with right now, along with a happy Thanksgiving for Marinois. Rising tides raise all ships. Rising tides all raise right. all ships. Mr. Mayor, I hope you have a wonderful... Oh, and before we leave you, I want to ask you one more thing. How do you like your turkey sandwich? What do you put on it? I like them very well. <laughs> <laughs> but do you like... What do you put on it? You put cranberries on it? You put mayonnaise, mustard, pickles? What, you, what, you, what kind of bread do you like? Well, wheat bread, of course. Yeah? Wheat bread, of course, but uh, a little mayonnaise goes yeah. Yeah. And good, just fine. And it doesn't take much more than that. A little bit of lettuce just yeah. for trimmings. Yeah. No cranberry sauce. I'll take that on the side, please. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. The turkey sandwiches are very good. Very good. All right. We have the mayor's turkey sandwich, <laughs> folks. I hope you enjoy yours. We'll be right back after these messages. Okay. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Stars visit their friends. Look! For many senior citizens, life looks like this, but it doesn't have to. When you make your home at Parkview Senior Living, life after retirement takes on a whole new meaning. Daily exercise options, fun outings, happy hour, game nights, movies and popcorn, arts and crafts, 
and join friends over chef-prepared meals. Parkview Senior Living, where you're always home, but you're never home alone. Hi there, this is Terry Stroop, Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. Summer's about to wind down, fall's right around the corner. It's time to get signed up for your fall maintenance checks, and let's get out and support our local high school football this year. Let's go, cats. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at TennesseeTrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. There is a road laid out for me. First night here, but Amy seems cool. <laughs> Leading down to the river. <laughs> I am blind, but I need not see. What do you think? I know this road mm -hmm. is there for me. If I'm really free, take me down to the river and Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. All right, folks, uh, past week we had our veterans, two weeks ago, I guess it is now, 11-11, uh, we had our Veterans Day celebration at South Jackson Civic Center. And as always, the wonderful voice of Lloyd Smith was there to sing the medley of military service songs. And we're going to bring that to you right now. Thank you, Howard. Here it is. Armed Forces Medley.
I want to invite y'all to come by Clayton's, downtown Tallahoma. We try to serve the community, the area, and we try to help people with their feet and comfortable shoes. We still measure feet. We have a great new arch mat. We have insoles. Please come see us at Clayton's and let me help you find some comfortable shoes for those achy feet. My husband was diagnosed with a spinal infection. He lost his ability to swallow and the movement of his legs. I couldn't turn over in bed, I couldn't walk, I couldn't eat. They were just wonderful in the treatment and care they gave my husband. I uh, regained my mobility where I was able to go home. It is miraculous. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. STEM is everywhere, like here, behind the scenes of The Walking Dead. When we break down clothes, we tumble it with trisodium phosphate, rock salt, and dish detergent. We stitched together images of our model and created a 3D set that can be walked through in a VR headset. We're able to turn 12 walkers into a thousand walker board. STEM can create new worlds on and off the screen. What will you make with STEM? Get inspired at shecanstem.com. Hi there, this is Terry Stroop, Stroop's Factory Refrigeration. Summer's about to wind down, fall's right around the corner. It's time to get signed up for your fall maintenance checks, and let's get out and support our local high school football this year. Let's go, cats. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. folks in TV land and howdy lady camera men, camera women <laughs> camera ladies it, it couldn't couldn't be on the screen without y'all and thank you John for that introduction let me uh would you if you'd like to be a millionaire I'm going to ask you when television came to Tallahoma I know it was it was in September was it in 1945 was it 1950 was it 1955 or was it 1960? Somebody, somebody give me a fine. That, that's your final answer? <laughs> well, you'd get a penny, but it came in September of 1950. Channel 8 was first, Channel 5 was second, and Channel 4 was third. 50 years now. And y'all haven't been putting it on the screen for 50 years, but sometimes it seems like it. But isn't it great that we can see uh, uh, action at, as it's happening. You know, back in the, uh, before television, you'd see a, 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 a newsreel at the movie house and a comedy and then the feature. But uh, the thing about it was, uh, when you saw the newsreel, it was anywhere from a month to two or three months old, whatever the news was back then. And it's wonderful that we can have it right today. And of course, uh, 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 television is, is a, a live photography and uh, motion photography. But now back through the years, before there was television, of course there were motion pictures, but before that there was still photography. No color, just black and white. And photography is a way of communicating with people, uh, with each other. Pictures are, pictures are a very important part of our lives. And I bet everyone in the viewing audience has in their purse or billfold a picture of their boyfriend or girlfriend or wife or husband or somebody in the family, their children that they like to, to share. And of course, uh, uh, photography and history and love all have one thing in common. They gotta be shared to be, be worthwhile. And uh, 
I thought I'd uh, share a little bit about uh, the studios and photography uh, in Tullahoma. Back around the turn of the century, was that there were a couple of brothers in Tullahoma named Staley. One of them's first name was Booth Staley. I don't remember the other one. They lived on South Jackson Street and had their studio uh, on the second floor of Lawson's Hardware, which is at the corner of Wall Street and Lincoln Street. Uh, more recently, it was the uh, home of Goldstein's department store. But the Staley's had the studio upstairs there. They had no flash bulbs and very little uh, uh, artificial lighting, and they used the big windows up there with reflectors to make their, their portraits and their pictures uh, up there. This is a, a picture, that evidently, can you see a camera lady that uh, was made evidently welcoming a welcome delegation uh, from the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and you see the photographer standing up on a, is a, uh, on a chair, all bent over there looking through the back of his camera, uh, making the picture of who, whoever it is. And I, I think this was probably made around the turn of the century. And, and that, that picture, uh, as were most pictures back then, were made with what we call a, a view camera. And this is a five by seven view camera, and uh, the film was, was a sheet film that was put in a holder and put in the back there, and one film would come out one at a time, and they would focus it and uh, get good sharp picture and then make the picture, and then cover it up with a, a dark slide and go from, from there. And um, they, then they'd have to take it to the dark room and, and develop it in a, a uh, uh, a plate holder or a uh, tray with uh, with the, the developer. And all, of course, all film has to be totally put in holders and developed in absolute total darkness. Otherwise, it would be foggy looking. But this is what's called a view camera or field camera, and it has to be uh, mounted on a tripod, just like your camera is mounted on a tripod, so it will be good and, good and steady. And uh, they're a lot of fun. Um, this one is probably right at 100 years old. I have another camera here that is, is a 1921 model, and it's called a, um, a Graflex view camera. And uh, my mother gave this to my father as their wedding gift in 1921. I had it rebuilt a few years ago and still use it. It makes a, a picture of three and a quarter by four and a quarter inches, and one of the famous people that was photographed with this camera was in 1936. We were visiting relatives in Dallas, Texas. Always went out to Love Field to uh, uh, see what was going on out there. And we saw a big crowd of people around the uh, airplane. And my father and I uh, walked up close to it. And um, there was Amelia Earhart. And Amelia Earhart was demonstrating an auto gyro plane uh, in 1936. And uh, we got some close up pictures of her. And she was lost in the South Pacific the, the next summer. And uh, we treasure those pictures very much that were made with this camera. Uh, and, and at another time, I'm going to bring some more modern cameras to show you how much smaller they've gotten. And you know, the digital cameras these days are, and the camcorders and the, the uh, video cameras are almost taking the day. But they're a lot of fun to use, and they're not hard to use at all. You just have to. Uh, know what kind of film you're using and uh, uh, what application it's made for. And one of the special uh, pictures, I mentioned the Chamber of Commerce um, just a moment ago welcoming a delegation to Tullahoma, and I'd like to show you a picture of the president of the Chamber of Commerce today. Uh, this, 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 this happens to me be an early picture of Candio. And Candio loved her Heinz, Heinz beets. And I think on this particular occasion, she had a big, big mouthful of, of beets and sneezed. And you can imagine the, the kitchen, the kitchen, the table, the ceiling, and her mom and daddy were totally covered, covered with, with beets. That's what pictures and cameras are for. Uh, quickly, the, uh, after the Staley's uh, came a fellow named Sam Penn that had his studio over the former Locks Dime store. And then our 
longtime friend Paul Powell had his studio there and on Jackson Street. And uh, our, our friend, the late Bob Plummer, had a studio on uh, West Lincoln Street for many years. All of them excellent photographers that recorded not only families, but recorded history. And we've been real proud of them for a long, long time. They were a lot of fun, and they gave, uh, gave much of their profession uh, to the city. And we're going to come back and show you a lot more because this is not the end of the story. There's a whole lot more to come, and I thank you, and everybody have a real, real good day. The Bookshelf in Tullahoma is the fundraising arm of the Coffee County Literacy Council. Since 1988, the Literacy Council's goal and purpose has been to support and promote adult basic education in Coffee County. We enable individuals to complete their high school equivalency exam, which helps them get better jobs or continue into higher education. The Bookshelf at 114 Southwest Atlantic Street in Tullahoma is where we sell used books, which are donated to us by the community. Come see us, bring your books to donate, and join us as you find every genre of books that you can imagine. I had a knee replacement, so they have got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Is this the year you want to get fit? If so, check out just some of the things Tullahoma Parks and Rec has to offer. Kickboxing, aerobics, silver sneakers workouts, swim lessons, boot camp, water aerobics, basketball, Zumba, yoga, pickleball, lap swimming, treadmill, karate. Get fit Tullahoma and have some fun with Tullahoma Parks and Rec. Senior Living, active, independent senior living at its finest. Do you love sports? Then you should know about STEM. Because maximizing nutrition, analyzing peak muscle performance, calculating the perfect shot, and more are all made possible by science, technology, engineering, and math. In fact, there are more careers than ever in sports science. So if you have a passion for sports, then think about getting involved in STEM and improve everyone's game on and off the field. Get inspired at SheCanStem.com. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Am I back? Yeah. I'm so glad to be back. I'm sitting on the set right now with Jackie Duncan, who is a delight to talk to and has more history in his brain than I'll ever, uh, I will ever know. What do you want to talk about today? Well, you know, last time, uh, there's a lot of things I'd like to talk about, but uh, the last time I talked about uh, my, the love of my life, and we were talking that uh, how, the, uh, I think, the uh, uh, theme was, be careful what you wish for. Absolutely. And we, we talked about that, and, and because a lot of times the kids, you know, you start at an early age and get these things embedded in your mind, and, 
and and they'll consume you. They'll consume you, and you'll think you just have to have whatever it is you you're think wishing you for. You've got to have it. Well, I was, I, I did this with a young lady. Uh, well, we met, and and I was telling her last time about how uh, she grew and grew and grew and and did well in life, and extremely well. Got her, wound up getting a master. Then she got her PhD. She was a teacher, and we. Uh, we were going to get married and, oh, wow. and all this, and her greatest dream earlier in life when she was just a young kid, you know, she and a friend of hers, they were just hanging out in the country, and they, they were right. just country kids, and and, um, and their goal was, their their main wish was to get a, I guess it was real bad in the country during that time, but their main wish was to, to when they got grown, they wanted to get an apartment and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> and so, you know, <laughs> That's a that's a heck of a that's a heck of a, a dream, heck of a dream isn't it? and she wound up becoming a psychologist. Isn't that interesting? And, yeah, and I said, you know, and and I would often tell her, I said, physician, heal thyself. Right. You know, <laughs> she couldn't leave him secret as long as she be tired. Of, I mean, she and this was something she'd embedded in her mind over, I guess, forever, and uh, so. Well, so it, it was the thing to do back in the day. The I mean, You're every right. movie had people smoking cigarettes. That's right, cigarettes. and they glorified that, stuff like that, you exactly. know? Exactly. So anyway, but uh, but anyway, I, I had a little, one little, little, last little thing I thought, well, I was going to tell this, this story last time we ran out of time, um, and I had this nice little poem that I had written um, to Ar Arsenio Hall. You remember Arsenio I remember Hall? Arsenio, okay. yes. He used to have a show come on at late night, and... and uh, the Arsenio Hall show, I'm sure everybody's, uh, I thought a lot it was of people great. remember that. And so the bottom line is that, it, that uh, she was a part of a group of, of uh, teachers or physicians uh, that were, actually they were teachers and she just, she was going, uh, they went to, they were going to Hollywood. Yeah. And uh, to, uh, so anyway, while they were going there, they were going for a conference and while they were in Hollywood, they were going to be on the Arsenio Hall show, just being the audience, yeah. and uh, nothing special, just being the audience. Well, anyway, um, bottom line is that that I found I found out, you know, about this. She told me, and then, and she said, "You need to go. You ought to go to." And so I thought about that, and I said, "Well, I don't know." And I thought I'd, she had been having some health issues and uh, uh, blood sugar and things like that, and so I'm, I'm going to hold this up where. Where she can zoom in on this, if maybe oh. okay. And this was a part of that time that that we were. She was going through her cancer treatments, and I, I said, yeah. And I said, this is a this is a picture of me. I was driving driving down the highway one day, and and I'm getting off the subject just for a minute. I'm gonna get right back okay. to it. And we were driving down. I was driving down the highway one day with some friend of mine or something, my nephew maybe, a, and we were. Uh, 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 just looked over on the side of the road, right coming into Murfreesboro, and looked up and saw this sign. It's billboard. It's billboard with her and me on it. Oh the, wow! For an ad that we did. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Yeah, this ad that we did, and we had. Uh, I showed the uh, picture last time of, 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 of she and I do at the ad we had done, and and uh, it was in magazines and everything, and it was TV and. I think I saw that for uh, at yeah. some point. Mm-hmm. How long? That wasn't long, that long ago, was it? Uh, it's been a little while ago. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I remember seeing yeah, that. Yeah, it's beautiful. anyway, anyway, they had another one of these billboards inside Buffersboro. Yeah. This was on the highway, I-24. Well, anyway, we, um, uh, we, that was that was a blessing just to highlight her life, and she never saw. I don't think she ever saw this. That's so sad, yeah. Jackie. I, I, I know she, that was a hard. I don't think she ever saw the thing to the, get over. I don't think she ever saw the the ads on TV either because she lived in Cookville and they didn't they, pick up. Right. You know, this this was a group out of Nashville, the Middle Tennessee Medical Center, and they they uh, just advertised this area. So I don't know that they went even went to Cookville. She told me she never had seen the the ad. But anyway, um, it was it was just a blessing to be a part of her life. And this time when we were going to keep, she was she was going on this uh, trip to. California to Hollywood, and they they were having this conference out there, and uh, for psychologists You're and right. everything. So I told her, I, she kind of talked me into going. So I said, okay, I got for family got, over in Pasadena and L.A. Oh, and all this. So, so you so, went? Yeah, I went. Awesome. And um, so, but before that, now, and and they didn't know this at 
they they did. They found out that they would be in our senior halls audience. Right. So um, so I th I got this wise idea. I thought, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna write write our senior something before we you know a few weeks yeah. before we got there. And I wrote a nice poem uh, to our senior king of late night TV or something and and something and uh, anyway. And I told him about my fiance and I said that she's recovering from cancer and said I just got her PhD and says uh, everybody calls her Dr. Griffith but I call her Dr. Baby <laughs> and so anyway it was cute and but it was a nice poem I, I looked all night last night trying to find that poem couldn't I, find I, it. I couldn't find that thing but I need to make another copy when I do find it but anyway we were on a, and if you remember our senior hall has a, had the dog pound right and so we wound up in the dog pound <laughs> and I said all right and I'm hoping I said maybe that he got that letter and, and, and he read it and they, somebody liked it enough to get us, because the whole group didn't get in the dog pound. Yeah. And the whole group of people, the psychologists that were there, just a portion of us that were able to fit in there, but we got in there, and thank the Lord. And, That's awesome. And that was such, such a blessing, yes. Yeah, what so, a great experience. Yeah. I know you miss her. Yeah, well, it, I'm over it now, you know, it's just, we'll see each other later on you know when later this, on yeah and it's when this life is over ain't no doubt about it but but anyway last last week we um uh, um i know they had the uh veterans day the event over over at the uh, civic S center right yeah the um uh, memorial day it was a wonderful yeah. event oh i know it and i wanted to i've always been there for i'm, I'm almost remember. always there yeah. because my family is so military oriented I don't know if this was. I don't know if this guy was there or not. I'm hoping he was. Yeah, he, what a great picture. He usually is. This is this, way. this is Tommy Gwynn and me. It's my buddy. World War One, World, World War, War II. II. I'm sorry, yeah. I knew. World War II I knew and it was Korea. World War II. Right. World War II and Korea. He was a, a hero in both wars. So. Uh, uh, and an amazing individual. He is. He uh, is. He's my buddy. And has and he reached a hundred? I think. He's 104. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's amazing. So anyway, yeah, I, and I met him, God, I was just a kid. He was, my mother brought him home one day to fix the TV. He, she found out he was a TV repairman. Yeah. And so he was, and he, he fixed the TV. He fixed TV, her TV. Yeah, so anyway, and, and uh, uh, he, um, uh, uh, I've always, I've been going to these events down there at the Civic Center, but I, 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 I used to get invited to come and read, do a poem. Yeah. And I would always try to write a new special poem for him. The, our soldiers, the uh, fallen soldiers, and I always dedicated to. I had some several that I was just they were part of my life that I took right. care of. Uh, in the in their old age, I would go and do help them do whatever you know they needed it done and take them wherever they needed to go and had a few of them like that. I would, that 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 I was real close with and so. Anyway, it was just a blessing to be a part of their lives, hear these old stories. And Absolutely, stuff and, like uh, that. and I did, I didn't know whether he was there last week because I couldn't make it. Uh, I had a class. Uh, I don't remember seeing him, but there was a big crowd, and yeah. uh, I was in sort of in the back. I, I just don't remember seeing him, yeah. but we have a lot to be thankful for for our military we do. people that have, male and female. They've, Amen. Amen. We're standing on their backs right That's here. That's right. That's right. We are. And I, uh, one other thing that I wanted to do, I know that there's a, uh, uh, a big event coming up, the... Uh, um, uh, t Tullahoma Daycare Center fundraiser. Oh yeah. And I, I want us to be a part of that. My church, Mount Zion Baptist Church, is. is uh, Was that last weekend the tour of homes? No, I think it's this coming weekend. In if something, it's, it's coming up, I believe. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, I think it's coming. It's coming up, I believe. I think it happened last weekend. Well, I think it happened while we were doing. The I think it's, it's something young, on the third of December. Or I know. Maybe that's another, maybe okay. another event than the okay. tour of homes. Okay, well, there's another event on at December. I think we're done, but. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know if they've turned us off or not, but. No, yeah, but wrap it up. Okay. Well, wrap it up. Anyway, I, uh, on behalf of Mount Zion Baptist Church, I want to, I want to, I'm going to commit to giving two bicycles for the uh, their auction they're having a silent That's wonderful. auction wonderful yeah and uh uh we we're without a pastor right now but we're yeah i knew that we're the oldest uh standing building original structure 
church structure in, in Tullahoma. It's Shoah, a wonderful church. The old church was built back in 1880, I believe, or right about that time. We got a new addition, but um, the old church is so still you, there. So you all are out searching for We're a new ministry. We're searching for a pastor right now. Shoah, Shoah. But we've got a fantastic ministerial staff. Oh God, we we're not without we're not without getting the word. That's well, for sure. Well, Cernobia is part of yeah, that. She's isn't part of she? that. My sister Linda's part of that. And Linda's part yeah. of that. good. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of minister women ministers that come through my family, you know, over the years. And uh, uh, one of them was Sister Jessie. Uh, Jessie Lee Duncan yeah. lived over on oh sure the, over on Atlantic Street that led Zig Ziglar to the Lord, and he always gives her credit for that and every one of his books. So. That's awesome. That's it. Let's wrap up. All, All right. right. We've got to go, Jackie. This seems like you have so many stories to tell. Oh, God, I got a lot. So we'll ask you to come back. Always. You're always Thank welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. structure fire, 202 Main Street, heavy smoke showing, neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. I've got one, I've got one. Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Come on. You're not gonna get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff, like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at nhtsa.gov slash the right seat. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on six every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on channel six, your local information network. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to take this, this turkey ship and take it on into Thanksgiving. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Ooh, Jackie, thank too. you for being here. Oh, God, thank you. You know, you. I, we're thankful for you. We're, I'm thankful for you guys. I'm <laughs> thankful, <laughs> thankful for everybody. Yeah. I am for too. Tullahoma, I, oh, God, and everybody else. It's a blessing. I'm thankful I live in Tullahoma. Oh, I do. Right. I, am right. I am too. Uh, That's yeah. right. So all of you. Eat till you eat till you bust, and laugh until you cry, Amen. and dance like nobody's watching. That's right. Happy and Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It's my birthday too. Oh.